Hey guys, Colby from Mitten Fitness here. Today is Tuesday. Welcome to our workout. Today you'll need one heavy object and a timer. <laughs> um, today we're going to start with a warm up, three rounds of shin boxes and forward folds. We're going to do three of those. Then we're going to do six overhead good mornings. I'll show you those and then we're gonna do nine tempo air squats with a three second descent and I'll show you those so first for the shin box forward folds all right feet are slightly apart start by folding the inside of your right knee to the ground boom that's a shin box now you're gonna fold yourself over that left foot nice and easy you're just warming up then come back bring that Foot back, put, bring the left inside knee to the ground, make the shin box, fold over your right foot. Only go as far as your body's letting you. Make sure you're comfortable, able to breathe. Come back up. You're gonna repeat those for three per side. Then you're gonna roll into six overhead good mornings. We've done these before, but put your arms up, reach to the ceiling. Head is in neutral in line with the arms. Push your hips back, butt back until you can't. And then come back up. What we want to be careful of is that we're not losing this midline stability. We're not curling over here. So as soon as that butt is back, as far as it'll go, put the legs slightly straight, slight bend in the knee, come right back up. Overhead, good morning. Six of those, and then we're gonna do nine tempo air squats. And with those, I'd like a three second descent. Go ahead and count out loud to the feel for a three second descent. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and up. You get the idea. All right, pass pause, work through three rounds of those movements. You can meet me back here for strength. Welcome back, hopefully you're warmed up. Today we have a series of Tabatas. We've got four different Tabatas, four different movements, eight rounds of each. Let's go over them. The first one is up down. So the first Tabata is gonna be eight 20 second rounds, 10 second thrust of up downs. Those guys look like this. Drop arms down straight, out into the plank position, up and up, squat thrust. Again, down, up, boom, squat thrust. If you need to scale that, find a bench, chair, anything you can rest on that's above the ground, hop out, hop up, boom. Um, fairly straightforward, 20 seconds of those, 10 seconds of rest, eight times. And then you're gonna roll right into another Tabata that has single leg glute bridges. Now for these, get in that glute bridge position, heels toward the butt, but it's single leg. So you're gonna lift that front leg up, your left leg for instance, and drive the hips to the sky, to the ceiling and then hold them. You're holding that single leg glute bridge for 20 seconds. And then after that 20 seconds, you're gonna switch legs, do the other one, hold it for 20 seconds, rest for 10, back to the other leg. You'll do each leg four times for those eight rounds of single leg glute bridges. After that, the last 10 seconds on that last round, you'll roll right into side planks. And these again, 20 seconds per side, four times each side. So side plank looks just like this. Everything's locked out and straight. Applying those, oh man. Applying those abductors and those obliques to keep yourself straight. If you wanna challenge yourself on these side planks, you can do the starfish, bring up that leg, bring up that arm, 
Hold that for 20 seconds. 10 seconds, switch sides. Roll right into the next 20 seconds on the other side. And again, starfish, if you want to challenge yourself. Back and forth each side until you've done eight total rounds, four rounds each side on the side planks. And then the last one is overhead triceps. For overhead triceps, you can use a variety of methods. Um, if you have a band and something to attach that band to, apply that band about just over your head. Do an about face with that band in your hands and extend your triceps out. Keeping those elbows kind of tight in order to isolate those triceps. That's one way you can do them. If you don't have a band, no problem. If you have a dumbbell, kettlebell, any kind of heavy weight, you can do single arm tricep extensions. Just pop that head of that dumbbell toward your shoulder there next to your head and extend up. Okay? It's another way to do tricep extensions. Make sure if you're doing it that method that you do one arm for one 20 seconds and then switch to the next arm for the other 20 seconds. And you can also say your head dumbbell is a little heavier. Um, you can do them with both hands. Just try to grab that dumbbell in an even manner with each hand. Again, keep those elbows in and extend that way. Straight up. Activate those triceps. If you're doing one weight with both hands, obviously 20 seconds the whole time. 10 seconds rest until you've done eight rounds. So, hopefully you have a Tabata timer. If not, those timers are in our description to download. Um, it'll make your life a lot easier. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Cycle through all four of these movements. Only break in between these is that last 10 seconds of the eighth round from the former exercise to the next exercise. Have fun, press pause, and I'll see you for conditioning. All right, welcome back. We are ready for conditioning. Good job on the strength. Today's conditioning is 30, 20, and 10 reps of single arm dumbbell or kettlebell or heavy object thrusters. So you need one heavy object. Um, each arm today counts as one rep. And then we have burpees over the dumbbell, the kettlebell, or that heavy object that you use. For this rep scheme, remember, you're completing 30 reps of the single arm uh, dumbbell, kettlebell, heavy object thrusters. Then you're doing 30 reps of burpees over that dumbbell, that heavy object. Then you go to the 20 reps, single arm thrusters, do the 20 burpees over the object. Then you go to 10 on the single arm thrusters and the 10 burpees over the object. And then you're done. Uh, but to go over those movements, single arm dumbbell thruster I've got here. With that, depending on the heaviness of your object, pick it up wisely. Um, squat down, grab that, let's clean it up. And then uh, from here, we'll go into the squat, find your squat stance, down into the squat, arms out here to help with balance. This arm dumbbell is racked, one of the heads is on your shoulder, that's just fine. Head is neutral, midline stable. And then from here, we drive up, extend, and as soon as we're fully extended with the body, then we push this dumbbell up, okay? Comes back down, boom. Time that extension of the hips and body to make that dumbbell way lighter for you. Okay, so you can break these reps up as much as you want. Just make sure when you're doing the 30 reps, you're doing 15 per side. Um, I would probably pick a number like five, do five reps, switch shoulders. Nothing wrong with switching while you're at the top here. And then do the five on that side and then go back until you've done all 30 reps. However you wanna break that up really, if you wanna do 10 a side and then five or 
eight and seven. Your call, it's your workout. And then after you've done the 30 reps of thrusters, you're going to do burpees over your object. Um, so in essence, that's just setting that object there. If you want to put it, I'd probably put it closer to your feet so that once you hop up, you're ready to go over. It does not specify whether it's bar dumbbell object facing, so I'm giving you the liberty to decide. These ones I'm showing you are lateral. If you want to do dumbbell facing, hop over, turn around, burpee again, hop over, turn around. So burpees over the dumbbell that first time is 30. That's a bunch. And then roll right back into the thrusters for 20, 20 burpees, and then roll back into the thrusters for 10, then do 10 burpees, and then you're done. Press pause, have at that conditioning, have fun, and I'll see you right back here for a cool down. All right, welcome back for a very necessary cool down. Uh, you always have the option to do the shutdown challenge before you do this cool down. It's in the description below. Today's cool down involves the world's greatest stretch. With the world's greatest stretch, we're gonna rest 30 seconds in each pose. I'm gonna show you that now. Uh, so start with the world's greatest stretch, get in that plank position, then bring your right foot on the outside of that right hand you're gonna leave that left hand planted you're gonna try lift that right hand up and try to bring that right elbow to the ground that is a very strong word try don't uh, not everybody should be able to so don't worry about it if you can't but the point is you're stretching this area right here your hamstring your groin area is opening up so we're gonna hold this position for about 30 seconds so from this position you're gonna go into a pigeon pose so you can leave that left arm plank and just bring that leg under right leg under lower yourself onto your elbows if you can if you can bring your head down great but you're going to hang into this uh, pigeon pose for 30 seconds. You can kind of rock back and forth, take deep breaths, try to stretch lower each time, but hold that position for about 30 seconds. After the pigeon, come on up into a straight leg hamstring stretch. Bring that toe up. You can reach that toe, pull it toward you, and you're stretching this, holding this position for about 30 seconds if you want to do a more dynamic release and stretch for that 30 seconds, you can. And then lastly, keeping that foot forward, you're gonna work into a hip flexor stretch. Bring those hands overhead, push them toward the ceiling and lower feeling that stretch in the hip flexor. I'll switch sides for you just so you can see. Again, hands toward the ceiling. Lower the leg, arch the back. Feeling that stretch here. And hold for about 30 seconds for that pose. And then do the opposite side. Again, holding 30 seconds for each of those poses of the world's greatest stretch. That's your cool down for the day. I'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks for joining Mitten Fitness, CrossFit Dexter, for these quarantine, stay home, get ripped workouts. Welcome back. Now for the shutdown challenge. The reps will be in your description. I'm gonna demo the movements right now. First you have ab mats. 
If you don't have an ab mat, you can use a silk folded sweatshirt. You can even use a couch pillow, <laughs> small pillow. Uh, tuck that object of cushion, lumbar support up against your tailbone, feet face each other, your legs are in the butterfly position. Back, touch the ground, up, make sure your shoulders cross the plane. That's an ab mat sit up. Next, after that is lunges. It's pretty straightforward. Try to find that 90 in the knee, don't track too far over the toe. Stand back up, same thing. Alternate legs. Make sure that strides wide enough to find that 90. After lunges, push-ups. Push-ups look like this. Chest to the ground, if you can. Knees, if you can't do feet from the foot position. And if you need to scale even further, find a bench, ottoman, chair, and do the push-ups to the bench. And last but not least, we have burpees. Burpees, drop to the floor, jump up, or up downs or squat thrusts, plank out, up. Okay, enjoy that challenge. We'll see you tomorrow for the next stay at home, get ripped workout. Thanks so much, you guys. Hey folks, really appreciate you tuning in. Please do us a favor, press that like button, subscribe, find us on Facebook, find us on Instagram, like us, like us, follow us, follow us.